All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the stream. Hope you're all having a fantastic Saturday or whatever day it is for you right now. And we are back, Laterino. Uh oh, what happened? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we've uh, been playing Darkwood, as you know. Also, I just realized I have not turned my fan on. I'll do the preamble first, though. Yeah, we're on a uh, we're on Darkwood, and we finally made some progress in the fucking game. I felt. I mean, we've been making progress almost every single stream. Oh, it's 33. Ugh. It's a 6 right here, right now, but um, I'm going to definitely get up and turn the fan on anyway, because I am just unnatural that way. So yeah, we uh, we made progress. We're now in the swamp in Darkwood, and uh, I've been... Uh, I'm excited. All the, There's new enemies, a new map. Uh, it's spooky, and there's barely anything we've done here so far. We haven't even really talked to the first, like, story NPC yet. So yeah, um, let's, uh, just get into it real soon here. Alright, I'm gonna go turn the fan on now. Alright, okay, am I here? Uh, yes I am. So is the desktop, alright. Day 31. Chapter 2. I have no idea how big this map is in comparison to the previous three. Hoping it's approximately the same size, though. Right. I think we did all of our shopping, actually, already. Let's, uh... Yeah, right up. yeah, we don't need any of this stuff anymore. So I believe I bought the gas. That must be it, right? Yeah, and I sold them all the meat. Yep. We're, we're kind of done. We're actually kind of ready just to immediately go out. No armor stuff. I have a stick to use to make a stat, make an axe later. Yeah, I think we we I think we can just immediately go out. There's multiple ways to get into this place that we found out. That's not one of them technically. It's here. This is where we came through when we were running for our fucking lives in fear. I see. There was like a there was an NPC we hadn't talked to. Shoes. I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was like a number from the distance I'm sitting at. Cripple. Wait, bloody hell, you're alive! The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead. It's only me and... And... He finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment he clutches my hand in silence and I fear him... Hear him mumbling under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this. This chair. Bloody hell. His gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Ain't no fucking tree, that! It looks like a tree, but those faces, I know them, buggers. Every single one of them. So close and so fake. They're not real, they're not. From time to time, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them.
The old man lets go of my hand to lean against the broken back of the chair. Sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me, this buggery. This fucking scum. All the time I have to listen to its pathetic blabber, complaining all the time. As if I were supposed to believe it's human. That it's Mizacha. Yeah, right. He suddenly reaches towards me with both hands, almost falling out from the chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel all his weight on me. You, lad. You've got your hands and legs. Strong arms. I beg of you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can bear another... I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace. Fucking hell, I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought about it for a long time. Got a lot of time to think, for fuck's sake. His eyes widen, his pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. Jazziek's basement. Oh, uh, I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large, so if you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try from the bottom. Find the basement. And there, surely, you'll find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots, that's where they are. Destroy them, pull them, drag them, twist the fuck out of them. You'll find a way, huh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat, straight onto his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for his stone, which he used to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you. Thank you. Show item. Photo of a road. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts it to his eye. The road? Road home. What a load of bollocks. The road to madness is what it is. Gossip. Years ago when the eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there, where that damn tree grows. They would often leave at night, so that no one could see them. They went to the deep, dark woods and never came back. Some of them would say they're going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know, the land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world, but home, for me, has always been here. Then that monstrous, moaning abomination grew out of the ground. It blocked the passage, and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people found some other place. Maybe they died at the swamps just like us. Even more. What are you going on on about? The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair? The war took me legs. Then those walkers burned my house and me pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease, so they said, and my Zacha, the disease, took her from me. All I have is this wheelchair and this land. It used to be different here. First the woods changed. The trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead, only sometimes. The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. The sound of bare feet against the floor. And bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move toward the trees, then come back. They pass me and fall silent. They're like a nightmare. A bloody nightmare. You come around across some wheels. Two little wheels so that I could fix me chair. Maybe you would benefit from it as well. Oh, okay. I like this guy. I don't know if I'm stealing from him or not. What What are you saying there? Okay, yeah, he doesn't give a shit. Alright. Ripple is a cool guy. Before you leave, please, if you, see if you could do something about the tree. Go to the basement, it's just next to the tree. Okay, you gonna keep talking to me? Ah!
Dead Chomper. Oh, I've been here? Okay. Where the fuck is this? I'm gonna go back and uh, go continue through the cripple's house. Weird old cripple wants you in his basement. There's this really shitty Christmas movie with The Rock and the trailer offends me. Oof. Uh-oh. It has to be really bad if it's legitimately offensive. Finally got out of the tunnels, yeah. Broken compressor. I found a broken compressor used to fill up oxygen tanks. Old journal. I found an abandoned journal in the swamp hide and I've managed to mark the village with the tree on the map, thanks to it. Spare parts for the compressor. The old journal also included information about a cottage located near the junkyard, according to the notes. I'll be able to find some spare compressor parts there. They might come in handy. Day 31. The cripple. I met a crippled old man in the flooded village. He's the last living inhabitant there. He begged me to destroy the talking tree. Destroying the talking tree. He claims I first need to get to the cellar located near the tree. That's how I will find the roots, which I need to burn. According to him, it's the only way to get rid of the ab this abomination. An advice from a blind, deaf old man with no legs is the only lead I have so far. It's not much, but I've grown accustomed to it. A sickle. John Darkwood is looking for <laughs> looking for thought squad. Oh wait, wait. Looking for thought squad pharmacy because he's hose depressed. Talking tree examine. The tree is gigantic. Its bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They're also moving as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform noisy murmur. Between the bows I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similarly to the other beings, seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises to the point. The raises, pointing to something on the horizon, above the roofs of the destroyed village. The man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Look at the lips of the person talking to me. Even though the fingers speak sluggishly, it is too high for me to read the lips properly. I think one of the words is radio. Try to climb the tree? This kills me, doesn't it? The bark is slimy and soft. It cre it, its creases move away from my shoes and hands. I feel the arms that protrude from the roots tugging at my clothes. I'm not sure if they want to drag me down or pull me closer. I barely break free from their grasp. Climbing is up is out of the question. I notice a little smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums some melody. The lullaby drowns in the overwhelming noise surrounding the tree. I am barely able to make out any conversations and squabbles from the horrible noise of the tree bows. You took everything from us. The shouts come from an old man, only the tip of his head and one of his arms sticking out from between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it! Thieves! May the dogs piss on your faces! Right next to him, a woman's head wobbling from side to side repeats, We were hungry! 
We were hungry! Another figure hiding its face under an enormous root lets out a chilling shriek. Quiet! Fucking quiet! Leave us in peace! Shut up! He is interrupted by a man next to him. His intestines hang from his stomach. It was for our common good. It was meant for us all. You stole it! High above at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from their hands and legs gr uh, grown out into the trunk. They're trying to bite off each other's faces. Yeah, we have to get to the basement to kill this thing. Mushrooms don't do anything for me anymore, though. There's no reason to pick those up. So how will I get into the basement? Oh, it's literally right there. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, I can't get into the basement, so let's go talk to the cripple again. I need to explain to him. Oh, what are you- what? If I can't destroy the tree, what am I supposed to do? I gotta say, this is a very disturbing, uh, idea. I like it. Is there another entrance to the basement? Over here, maybe? No, I think I came from here. Oh! Nope, here's another one. Never mind. Side with the tree and eat the old man. I don't think that this tree is all that natural. Seems, um... Seems a bit, uh, grotesquely horrific. A hole in the wall of the basement. It must have been made by the growing roots. I just barely can't see it. <laughs> Shadow Druid Money Gang. <laughs> Who's there? That hurts me. What do you want? Cellar under the tree. Leave. Darkwood Universes Beyond introduces the first world enchantment since Dark or whatever. <laughs> I mean, world enchantments are kind of a, a weird idea in the first place, because, like, theoretically can't just any enchantment be a world enchantment, you know, like... I see it more as, like, old text, really, than, um, a real type. A talking tree. I've encountered a talking tree. Its monstrous roots block my way back. I saw a human figures grown into its bark and branches. One of them tried to tell me something, but the words drowned in the, in the other voices. I found the cellar under the tree. Unfortunately, it's completely flooded. I won't be able to progress any further, and it looks... 
and it looks like it looks like flooded cor and it looks the flooded corridor is the only way out. Oh. I can barely move as if someone was holding me by the ankles. Water is dark and cloudy. The corridor seems very long. I'll probably run out of oxygen. Oh. Ah, there's the oxygen tank coming in. All right. That thing hurts me. Wait a minute. Nope. That did nothing. I just wanted to see if I could damage it. And uh, I guess I can't. World enchantment, do you mean like Vorpal Dirt? <laughs> no, it's, it's a Magic the Gathering joke. Can you walk backwards into it? Let's, that's interesting, yeah, let's. Oh my god. My knife! Ow! Okay, I can't get my knife back. So, we need to, uh, fix the- we need to get oxygen tanks so we can go down there. Gotta break the bad news to the old man. Come here. Come! The basement is flooded, eh? Am I right? Dogs, bollocks, everything is fucking flooded. Turns around as if looking for something. Eh? What? Ah, yes, yes. Elephants. Fucking plonkers. Ever seen elephants, matey? Yeah, we have these elephants here, you see. They live here in the southern part of the swamp. Their hut is in the thicket, in the flooded forest. Since the woods trapped us here, they keep to themselves. They don't fancy us bloody elephants. They have these oxygen tanks. Lots of them tanks. And if the basement is flooded, you could use an oxygen tank, eh? All right. We have a plant in then. I'm going to run around out here, see if there see what I've missed out around here. Oh, I should leave. Christ Almighty. I should have left anyway. Oh, look, a gun. That sucks. I don't care for that. Oh, here's a weapon. Um, we're just gonna repair this, though. Easiest thing to do. Turn this lantern off. I don't know what to do with the fish. I'll put it here. That throwing knife there. All right. There's elephants that live in the south, something or other. Well, you know what? Let's go to the junkyard. Because we need to be able to fill the water tanks like they mentioned before.
Uh, I have nine cloth. This is totally fine. There is nothing illegal about what I'm doing. Yeah, let's just explore. We haven't explored the swamp yet. Wood logs. Hey. Kick ass. More wood logs and rocks. Oh Christ, okay. I don't need your meat. This water is, uh, spooky. Uh, okay, I'm fucked. An intense smell of mushrooms fills the air. Mushroom forest or some shit. Oh, some of them are really, really gross. And I do not want to look at them. Please hurry up and get put out. Great. Fuck! What the fuck? There's so many! Great. Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Okay.
I mean, it is the Mushroom Glade, so I should have known, but it's just... Pliers! Key on a key ring, a colorless key. It feels soft to the touch. There is a drawing of three flowers etched on the key ring. Mushroom Granny! An old woman sits on a weathered rocking chair. Her sleep is deep and peaceful. A handful of ripe mushrooms grow from beneath her thick hair. Try to pick a mushroom from the woman's head. The floor of the hut is soft as sponge. My footsteps are almost noiseless. The woman's sleep is too deep for her to hear anything. I reach for the most prominent mushroom and delicately pull its stem. It easily detaches from the old lady's pale head. Wake the old lady. The old lady opens her eyes slowly. For a moment, she stares into space with an absent gaze. Finally, she becomes aware of my presence. Wait, you're not! Her empty eyes now take on a questioning expression. I didn't expect any guests. She throws a nervous look at the door on her right, then gazes around the mushrooms-infested house. She relaxes a bit. I suppose you won't tell me what you want, and you want something since you're standing here in front of me, right? Eat the old lady? No. Point your finger at the door. It's the door to my chamber. There's nothing that would interest you there. The old lady puffs her cigarette. Come back when you remember what it is you want from me. Show item. Photo of a road. The old lady examines the photo. Her thoughts wander far away. I remember cars driving along this road, and then they closed it. They set up a fence and a gate. But both the fence and the gate got devoured by the woods eventually. I think that's how it was. Why would I eat the old lady? Like, I literally can't gain essence anymore. Not gonna lie, I have the pliers. I want to leave. I want to leave immediately, because I have the pliers now. Ooh, what is happening? They locked themselves. Ugh. In the basement. To get food? Yes, fuckers. It, it's, it's our common good. Ew, 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 okay. Oh wait, there's like... Stupid swamp monsters in the fucking water. That will come and chase me. hit this thing. Centipede. Whatever. Fuck you. I don't like you.
I should draw a mushroom granny, but not like horror. Isn't that kind of what Chantilly's is, though? Okay, but where is my hideout? I'm trying to run to it. Okay, I just need to keep going. This water sucks. It makes me go so slowly. I'm talking more like cartoon granny. Oh, right, right. Okay, here's my place. Right? Yeah, this is it. Yep. It was hard to understand because it was just so... So again, we, uh, we're gonna have a night where I just don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I can't really board much of anything. But, let's upgrade this. Axe! Sturdy blade! Nice. Sharpened. Increases durability. Gr greatly increases durability. Use less stamina. Well, you know what? Guys, we're going to try out the axe. See how we like it. Uh, nails? Do I have nails? I do have nails. Here's wood that hasn't been done in or whatever. I shouldn't have done that, actually, because I want to be able to go out. How much, like, uh, how much? We have 60 fuel, okay. We can get a little bit more wood. I hate that I have to... I can't cook this stuff. I don't know what I do about this creature. Oh, it's a wraith! Or the banshee! I am trying to... I'm just dead. There's... I can't move. I literally can't move. I literally cannot move. Okay, okay, okay. What is going on? I don't even know what happened. I literally just don't even know what happened. The screamers yell at you forever, okay? If you kill them, they will spawn small birds. I know, I know that. I noticed that. That was pretty obvious. But, like, I couldn't move or do anything, so, like... <laughs> so, whatever, I guess. Think you're supposed to shoot the screamers? Oh, great. Okay. Oh. Okay, I guess I'll just sell the meat and mushrooms. 
including the one from the granny. Sure, okay. Also, let's sell the really this gun. I don't want this gun. The pistol sucks. Did you ever try the shotgun? No, I have not. I definitely want to, though. I need more tape! There's another upgrade? Oh, more pliers. Okay. Double barrel shotgun. I can't even make it anyway. I can make this, though, but I need to get tape. So let's go buy tape. Single shot shotgun. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that uh, that night we just went through was uh, miserable. those merchants talk shit about you as they keep crawling in and out of that window. Oh, because I keep... <laughs> Maybe. Do I have wooden nails? Did I put them all away? Yeah, I put them all away. Okay. Oh, I don't even have enough... Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Not sure what I get next. Like, I don't really want to worry about getting these... Another one of these yet, you know, so, um... Might as well. Side quarters are really hard. I don't know how I'm supposed to lift my upper body up like that without using my elbow. You're able to do any type of crunches? That's impressive. I can't do none of that shit. <laughs> Okay, shotgun shells. Oh, wait, hold on a moment. I can't upgrade a gun? Okay, that's weird, but whatever. Shell. Is that the only sh those are the only shells I have, huh? I have a st yeah, but I, I feel like I don't even understand what... Uh, the need of having that muscle being able to do that is.
Okay. Nothing else to board up. Oh, wait, no, this window, I guess. Kind of doesn't matter because they just come in through these other open spaces, but I guess I put traps in those. If you ever feel immobile and lazy, just imagine Kirby trying to sit up. But that's just adorable. Oh my god, I have no bottles. Shit. Could have thought about that. You need scrap metal for the next uh, unlock rather than more wires, so. We have a lockpick now. I need to go south a bit more if I want to end up at the ju at the junkyard. Um. Okay. I don't know if I need to buy anything else, so I guess I'm just not going to. No, there's got to be more of something that I'm missing. Oh yeah, wasn't didn't I just say I was missing uh, bottles? Get a bottle. More wires. That that should be good. Why do they have child with them? I don't know. Ask them. Trees are purring like cats. Bit strange. Great. I love it. That's a lot of good shit. That's not a lot of good shit. Where are the rocks? I want to throw rocks at these stupid mushroom clusters. Great Lake. Oh, God. It's Lake Erie. My mom works with autistic kids, and one of them gave me some of their Halloween candy. This one Kit Kat they gave me is supposed to be like cream toast flavor, and it's awful. Oh, that sounds gross. God, the axe just two shot him. Whoa! Those have horrific noises that they say, but they still die in two hits.
Up. Oh my god, I almost ran into one immediately. Okay, it says I'm here. Poor bastard probably died of starvation. Okay, well, he had nails on him. Looking for the cottage. Where is this cottage? Did I go over here? Who are you? They're trapped. Whoa. We hear her. Cut me loose. I can't. I don't like that. Organic cord? Some kind of organic cords. They're slowly pulsating. They're surprisingly hard and durable. Shell is cracked. Maybe I could break it open? Belly. Snail. Who are you? The snail's speech is extremely slow and slurred. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. His eyes sag from their sockets and they dangle from side to side, trying to keep me in their sight. Why? Why are you disturbing my forced rest? His right eye raises with great effort and wobbles. Your face, what happened to you? Snail's jaw falls so low it almost detaches itself from the rest of the body. You scared me. You barely resemble a human. You should cover yourself. Suddenly I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body livens up. Quiet, hear that? Hear that voice? Snail tucks his head under his shell. He calls to me. Can you hear it? The snail falls silent for a longer moment. The inside of the shell is almost completely silent. He's calling me. I'm here. Trapped. Bound. Snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the cottage cracks under his huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose, please! I need to get out of here! If you release me, I will leave. Come back tomorrow and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. Snail falls silent and his enormous head slowly drops to the shell. Giant gleaming drops of mucus appear on his slimy skin. You need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything by myself. My legs are numb from lying here. I can feel my ar- I can't feel my arms at all. I admit, lying in the sun gives me this strange pleasure, but it's time for me to go. Understand, I have to. Go item. Photo of road. You're going there too? Nod. 
Everyone is going there. It's the road home, after all. Gossip. Once there was a beautiful clearing, now everything's covered in water, and I've lost my gumboots. Do you have any gumboots on you? You're so ugly, I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. It was yesterday, or a few days ago? Maybe? A year? I woke up in front of the house. I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? Mushroom Granny, I met an old lady in a cottage overgrown with bizarre mushrooms. In fact, she was no less strange than her house, no less strange than anything here. Day 32. The snail. I found a cottage crushed by an enormous snail. It turns out it can speak. Additional supply depots required. Enough of that fucking Christmas movie ad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. It begged me to cut it loose. Belly. How do I cut you loose? Dead snail. Search. hole is still too small. Oh, go inside. The Rock just plays John Human in every fucking movie. He can't act. I suppose so. Oh! Hand. Looks like a human hand, but it's sickly and grown into the shell. A key grows out of the palm. I should be able to tear it off easily. Shed key. All right. So I guess I, uh, I guess he wanted me to kill him? I feel like her laugh activates some Agent 40 sleep, Agent 47 sleeper agent gene in me because I just want to kill. <laughs> Radio tower, rope, bag, fabric. Well, fabric kind of sucks. Or I can do this. A lot of rusty radio equipment is strewn on the floor. Old recorders and destroyed tapes. Everything is covered in goo dripping from the leaky ceiling. Dead body examine a dry corpse overgrown with small roots. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, that was just a spooky scene. Notebook. Okay, let's take a look here. I'm s I didn't mute myself, did I? I did not, okay. We have nothing to eat since the flood. I've caught some snails and frogs. Better this than nothing. I'm out of the crosswords I found last year in the old wardrobe at the junkyard. The only thing that's left is to continue writing the journal and listening to this strange radio. In two days, I will visit the junkyard again. Maybe I'll finally find a tape recorder or something that will allow me uh, to record this weird signal. I feel like there's some meaning hidden behind it. I'm hungry. I'm eating grass and whatever I find in the water. I've seen strange men between the trees. They are not locals. They do not hide. They were dressed in strange clothes, but I was too far away to take a better look. Besides, I'm alone and there were at least three of them. Maybe I'm delusional, or maybe these old ruins aren't empty. I've found a blank tape and a broken tape recorder. Maybe I can fix it and do something with it. I've also found some other useful things. I've written them down and left them for later. I don't have the strength to wear them all on my back. Is it possible that the radio tower admits this strange signal? It's been a couple of years since it's been turned over. The woods have blocked the way, the way to it. But no other signal reaches this place. From outside, it must be that tower. I need to take a break from this radio. I hear this voice everywhere. It's strangely familiar. I can't get it out of my head. Huh. Right. Poor motherfucker. Oh, I get it. They ate frogs and snails until it turned him French. Correct. Well, the snail told us to cut him loose, so I swung at him, hoping that that would be cutting him loose. And I guess it just killed him. And I don't know if that's what he wanted or not. Gee willikers, I sure hope that is what he wanted me to do, because that would be embarrassing. They are surprisingly durable. Shed key! Note! Oh, what the fuck? This is a detailed looking map! A. A bear trap, many nails and planks. B. Some useful scrap metal. C. Gun parts? Question mark? D. Ropes, tapes, and antlers? Some tools. Scrap metal, an old compressor. F. Clothes. Broken, ar broken axe, empty bottles. Scrap metal, right. No, I need tape! No! So are we still at the junkyard? We are, apparently. I don't like my inventory being full right now. Also, where's the fucking junkyard they were talking about? I guess I can't move past here because of this thing.
No, you could have freed him somehow? Oh, that fucking sucks. I didn't mean... Man, I have to play this game more than once. Growths examine. A weird pulsating growth. It looks quite delicate. I feel like if I chop at that, it's going to start a boss fight. Why does that happen? That's a crazy... F Actually, wait, I think I have to kill this thing to even leave the area. Well... I'd love it if uh, there's a big rope and a sign that says snail trap trapping rope. Do not cut or the snails will be free. Uh, whatever I just did to that thing, uh, it was not happy. I, uh, I chopped one of its testicles off or something. I don't know. Why does the game keep giving me mushrooms out here when I've already reached maximum maximum essence? I guess so that you could eat them for your mushroom eating trait? I guess that would make the most sense. Okay, that's a wall. That has to be a wall as well. So, let's look at my journal again. Well, I didn't mean to be an asshole and kill him, but uh, that's unfortunately what happened. I'm going back to base because my inventory is full, to be quite frank. Oh, there's like, what is this? What's this supposed to be on the map? Oh, this is the junkyard! Oh, that's cool. Well, I know where it is now. But I'm not, but I, my inventory is full, so I can't, there's no benefit for me to going into the junkyard. Savages. There are savages out here, huh? Oh no, you you, you are a dickhead. Uh what the fuck just happened? He just like bled out. That was weird. It's like he just bled. That was weird. I'm gonna get set on fire if I fucking walk into this. There's no name for it, this place, okay.
Honestly, like, sometimes I see the savages, like, just doing, like, weird things, and I'm like, I wonder if I can talk to this one. Look at another crate. Locked. Great. Wonderful. Lovely. Stupendous. That's so useful. About here, right? Yeah, it says I'm here, so I should be here, right? Yes, here we go. That's what I like to see. So yeah, I, my inventory is full, so we had to, we had to come all the way back. We'll go to the junkyard again, though. So if I want to upgrade this thing again, I need even more stuff, which is, like, I'm not sure what to do. I can't craft more of this item. I cannot craft more of this item. Sucks. If there's anything 15th century European adventurers taught, it's that savages can never be recent with. Oh god. Oof. Oh my goodness. Honestly, there's so much wood. Let's just fill. Let's just use the whole tank right here. Do I have more logs? I do. Wonder what I do with the fish. And fuel on the generator is totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, all right. Fuck, it's fine. So yeah, I guess there's nothing I can do with the fabric besides sell it at this point. So, there are two means by which they can get in here. The big problem is that if they do one of those things where they shut all the lights off, I need to be able to run outside. Do I have any traps, actually? That are already made? It doesn't look like it, actually. No, 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 I can't make two. I would love to make two, but I can't. Do you need ammo for the shoddy? I assume that it has ammo in it, and that and I have one shotgun shell that I can use. Right, oh, two, excuse me, I have two shotgun shells. What does this need to be repaired? Let's, let's look. It's planks and scrap, okay. I'm fine with that. But yeah, like, this thing needs to be open uh, so that I can run out to this thing over here. Because this thing can turn into a light when it, you know, it decides... Like this. There we go. You see, like, we, we need that. We need to be able to run out to that. <sighs> okay, but here we go. Seeing the weird eyeball mushroom keeps making me uh, on my, uh, creeped out.
Because it's like... I know that it's not harmful, but just the fact that it's in the darkness and, like, rapidly moving... ...causes me some alarm. Okay, that's a light now, okay. I don't know what triggers it, really, if, if getting close really is what triggers it. I really hope the shotgun is actually good. This sounds like dogs. Yeah, it's dogs. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't know which one to break. Stupid dog, you make me look bad. Make you, you make yourself look bad. What the fuck happened? Fuck you! I'll get this to sell it to the traders tomorrow, the meat. Cannot destroy the chairs. Please turn into a lamp, please. Thank you. I like it when you're a lamp. Where did the fucking dog go? It just fucked off and never and just didn't bother her anymore. There we go. I missed a lot there, which was a bit annoying, but... I really don't like those. This night isn't as bad as the last night with the, 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 the swarm creatures or whatever. does a lot of damage. I like the damage it deals. It is a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yes it is. It is a lot of damage. Nice. You're too late. All right. The three. They accept my tribute. What do I 
even buy from them now. Um, I guess like another one of these barrels so I can eventually have uh, another... Oh, wait. Shells. Okay, okay. So, let me look. Um, uh, I can't upgrade with fabric anymore. So, uh, we sell the fabric. And the rope is also a part of the, the fabric, uh, thing. Might sell that, maybe. Probably not, actually. Oh, shit, I had a Molotov in here? Cool. Okay, well. <sighs> Excuse me. Why do I not have Antidote? I should always have that. That's... Very silly for me to not have that at all times. How much does this stack up? Ten? Yeah, okay. Let's sell the fabric. We're not using it. Jar of meat is a bandage. I don't know what the fish are for. Oh, I can eat them. Okay. I don't want to, though. I don't know what the tubular, tubular magazine is for. But, uh... Okay, let's get rocks. We can throw at mushrooms later. They're so shy. The three. Yes, please purchase this from us because I'm not going to use it. I can get more gas. If we, if we get two of these barrels, then eventually we can make the, a double-barreled shotgun. But I don't even know if I like the normal shotgun, so I probably shouldn't do that. Let's get stuff I know I need, like this. Um, I can always save up the rest of it. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do for that. Wait, do you have bottles? Do you have any bottles? Hold on, do you have any bottles? Yes, you do. That, that's the thing I needed that I forgot I needed. I have six healing meds. I don't need to get the healing healing meds. Um, I needed tape earlier. I don't know if I still need it, though. I'll just take some. Who cares? Hey, yeah, look, they have a kid or something. Yeah, I noticed. I don't. I noticed. I just don't know what they're doing. I don't really know what they're doing with it. Yes. Okay. Um, we can use up the last. This last thing here. Use it up on this generator or the other one. Um, uh, I don't want to fix this before leaving. I've got to be honest. Kind of a waste, but not really. I have two cloth, so I'm not going to use the bandages here. I'm not going to make more bandages here. Okay. None of the barricades went down either. Yes, that is the junkyard. We could go there and get stuff. We kind of need to. We also need to go talk to the elephant people in the south. I think I want to loot the junkyard first. I've got to be totally honest. I think I want to loot the junkyard. And I don't even...
even know what I did with the tree, like, over here where I cut that giant root. Like, I don't even know what purpose that served. I'm not really sure what it actually did. Mushroom Glade has the old lady. It had more stuff there that I just didn't get to, though, because I had full inventory. Maybe go back there and then go south. Oh, yeah, let's try that. Am I ready, though? As much as I want to make bandages, I do not think I can. So, let's go. Also, well, let's put some rocks over here. Pole! No. Dead underneath the roots. Man, your stamina depletes so quickly. Where's the map button? Okay. Oh, here's one of those chests I remember. Oh, mushrooms. Okay. Holy shit! I have never used the throwing knife and had something good happen. It seems like it's all been relatively useless. God damn it! There we go. There we go. I guess I wish I had, uh, done the... gotten the mushroom thing that lets you eat the mushrooms to heal. Because now all this meat and stuff is just useless. You know, all the mushrooms and meat, it's, it's useless. I was hoping I would be able to stat up or something, but... Wow, look at all that supplies. Ooh, wooden door. Cool. Whoa, that leads me somewhere. Corpse. Are there more than one? No, it's just this one. Okay. Fuck. Fuck! Oh wow, that was uh that was very useful. Holy shit, the knife came back to me. Search the crate. Are you serious? Oh, that's so stupid. Well, the inventory is full. God damn it.
This led the mushroom granny. There's this out here we can leave behind the mushroom granny. There's that. Shrine! Interesting. Interesting. I am on the other side of the mushroom glade. Have I reached the tree line? I have, I think. What the fuck is this? There's a whole tractor being slowly dragged into a pit. You'd think this would be a landmark on the map, but they, they don't have it down. I guess it's just sort of part of the, the glade. I could go to the junkyard, but my inventory is immediately full. So we actually need to leave. Can I, I cannot put them out of their misery. Okay. Was behind me. It's behind me. They came from behind. Let's get the fuck back to my base so I can drop all this shit off. My lantern dead? No, I unequipped it. Okay. You always forget to go there when it's empty. Forget to go where? The junkyard, yeah. Yeah, I was good. I was gonna do that, but the uh, the mushroom blade ended up having even more shit, to... including an entire shotgun. Well, fuck you, too. Savages. Savages. Glad they had bottles. Why is that all glowing red? What is this? I cannot go in there. Wow, okay. Cabbages, cabbages, barely even lettuce. 
Aren't they, like, literally not lettuce, like, by species or something? Or maybe they are the same species, I don't know. Not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I like this, uh, the knife. Am I too far down? Here we are, okay. I am hitting the space bar and it's not going up. Okay. Stop using up that. Also, we we could make armor actually, so We got to make some room. Maybe we put the knife away for now, even though I like it. Bottles. Get those bottles out. Okay. So let's make armor. Because I like me some armor. The amount of healing from this is so pathetic. Fine, though. Um Gee, it's almost it's 15 into the day. I'm going to go to the logging camp and uh just pick up some nails and wood and stuff. Or I'll try to. I can hardly see where I'm going. I still want to use up the last of this lantern here. Because I'm running tight on bottles. That's some logs. Pretty good. That's pretty okay. For a moment, I was hoping that was a chest that was big, but no, it was a log, because of course it would be. How could I be so stupid? Did I open that chest there? I have to- I should go check. Oh my god, really? Ugh. What am I doing? Um, oh, right, I needed lockpicks, yeah. I don't really need this sickle. I don't know why I'm carrying it. It's not real, it's not necessary. Could store that in there anyway. Oh, the rain stopped, but it's a bit late now. Eh, you know what? I think I, I think I have time to go there and open the chest. I have time to open the chest.
More stuff for armor and guns. All right. I'm not going to complain. All right. I just fuck around in my house till night falls, maybe. I think that's probably is what I'm gonna do. I just don't really feel like it's a good idea to go out anywhere right now. I have so much medicine. I'm going to stand here until, like, 20 after. You ever heard of Wet Leg? I love their stuff. I don't, I don't tend, to, I don't often remember uh, musicians and bands, even if I like their, even if I like their stuff. Yeah, I'm camping the generator for as long as I can. I grew too chicken. I just felt like I absolutely had to start. You know what? Still not on the lantern yet. I want to. I want to be as efficient as possible with the lantern. I hate when I hear, like, these phantom sounds that sound like I'm walking, but aren't me walking. rebuild these things? I guess you, if you use them for barricades, it makes sense to do that. I hear shit moving around. Uh-oh! It's one of these! you fuck you oh god
Oh god, I'm on fire! Okay, use use a reload button. All right. Well, that scared the shit out of me. Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Oh, God. Bugs are good. Oh, that's dead bug. Whoops. I could dig the holes up. This is such a spooky hut. A hideout. Hear something walking around outside. What? I literally do not know what barricade they're touching, but it's not one that's anywhere near me. I'm just gonna stay over here. Okay, we made it. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I'm gonna save the game in a way that is uh, congruent with uh, the way we run the stream. Make an armor, because we'll, we'll this one will run out. We'll need this one. Make a lantern, because this one will run out. We'll need one. Put that away. Rocks can stay. We need Maltov cocktails. Oh God, only have one. Well, I could use bottles and gasoline. You know what? Let's do it. That's it, though. I don't have any more bottles. No, I need cloth now. Okay, I'm gonna buy cloth then from the merchant. Rotten mushroom, we'll sell that. I don't need two sickles. I can sell this. Sometimes it's funny because I'll find a musician through one of their less popular songs, then I'll listen to their mo most popular songs and not like it. Yeah, I think that's kind of the reason my brain sort of just doesn't track a lot of musicians ever. 
or doesn't care to remember because I'll I, I'll hear like one random piece of music be like this bops, but I I don't know. I guess I've learned that if I go and I look, that I'm not automatically gonna like everything that I hear. So I really sh I really end up just ending I just end up having the song stuck in my head, but never remembering any names. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, we want to sell these. What else do we want to get rid of? Maybe the rope? No. We have a sickle. I don't know. It, I feel like there isn't really going to be a better pistol or something later. You know what? No, I can't. I can't be for sure. Maybe there's like a magnum pistol at the maximum, you know, upgrade for the work, for the workshop. So yeah, okay. I guess we'll... I'm not going to sell that sickle. I want to sell flares? Maybe. <laughs> oh my god, it, the generator is on. Oh my god. Fucking hell. All right. What do I generally need? That's a good thing. We want this. Do you have cloth? That's fabric, not the cloth. Here we go. You do have cloth. Okay. We need that. Might as well get some of that as well. Bottle. Need the bottle. Bolt handle. I don't know if I need that or not. I don't know if I want to get rid of 400, though. Yeah, no, no, no point. Hyper-focusing on track mania. I don't know what that is. Pick another lock pick. All right. I am glad to have cloth. You make a Molotov here. Nice. Did I buy gasoline? I think I forgot to buy gasoline. Let's go do that. Put some gasoline in this tank here. Well, in the, in the saw here. Only up to two, though. Oh, we have that wood. All right. Okay, let's put that in there. Put that in there like that. We have a lot of armor that we can make. That's good. Because it stops me from dying. Okay. Take this gas can that's partially empty. And we fill the generator back up. All right. Fuck. I really don't want to end early, but at the same time, like, I don't really know what the fuck we can even really do. I don't know how else we can save the game. 
Wait a minute. Um, does the game save when we go to our cooker? It does. Okay, we can. As long as we walk back and go to the cooker, we can save the game. Okay. That's cool. That's good. That's what we like. So, uh, let's put this wood away. Uh, we can go back and keep looting. I guess let's go uh, to the junkyard, try to loot, come back. And then we can continue the day next week. Oh my god, immediately becomes so dark that I can't do anything. I can't see him! Of course we end up here. Okay, the junkyard is southeast. Where our base is. There's also more stuff to get at the Mushroom Glade. Finally, the Fabled Junkyard. Not gonna lie, I don't even know what we technically need from the Junkyard. In fact, anything new in the journal? No, nothing. And then even further south, we could find the, uh... The elephant people, supposedly. Okay, it says we're in the junkyard. Kick ass. I see junk on the ground. I see piles and piles of junk. Where is the loot? Show me the fabled loot of the junkyard. New journal entry, Junkyard. I found a Junkyard. Maybe I can find something of value here. Okay, well. I like all those things I just picked up. Those are good. That was from a corpse, though. Am I still in the Junkyard? Yes, I am. Okay. More piles of shit. Okay. Hey! I can't do anything with those mushrooms. Crash! Dig! Oh! Are you serious? I needed my shovel! Fuck. Oh. Rocket. Rocket? Did Pietro crash here? Oh no. Did he crash his rocket? Oh no! He crashed his rocket here and died! No! horrible. Why am I horrible? I didn't kill him. He crashed his rocket. I'm just sad. Assisted suicide? Well, you know what? He lived the way he wanted to live in in the in the short retarded time that he had. I'm kind of annoyed that I needed my shovel for this place, uh, so we, we have- I have to leave now. But I don't particularly want to. I 
Better fate than musician? Yeah, eaten by your own parents sounds really, really bad. Well. Time to make our way back to the base so that I can save and drop all the loot off. And we picked up more pliers so we can upgrade the thing again. Swamper, no swamping. Why can't I see shit? Nope. Fuck. There goes my armor. My armor. Here we go. Here's the open way. Here's the fucking path. Finally stopped fucking raining. We're at the bonfire. Yes. Okay. All right. Now we're at the wood lodge. Yep. The wood lot. Is it really this hard to walk in water? Come on. Okay. All right. So we can drop the loot off and then we can save the game. There's some muddy foot por Someone has been through my workshop! Note from Wolf! Oh no, you've tricked me, meat. You've ignored my request and this action has its price. If you want to recover your things, come to the old sawmill. It can be found on the northern edge of the swamp. Don't think you can do whatever you like. It's my fucking forest. Oh no, I have to boss fight the fucking wolf? Well, up, I upgraded. Double barrel shotgun. Cool, cool, cool. I have to fight the wolf now. Oh man, all your allies are dying. Yeah, it's gonna be so tragic when the wolf dies here, man. That sucks. Well, he uh, stole some of my shit. I don't even know what he stole that I care about. So he wants me to come up here, yeah, and then I'll go there and fight him. Hey, you know what? It's not my fault that I did not know that I was just giving the key to the musician kid. Like, I didn't even know if it was technically the same key that he wanted. So I just hit yes, and then it was like, oh, I guess I'm on this path now. Maybe I could have killed the kid and taken the key. I honestly would stop playing the game if the original merchant wanted to fight. <laughs> well, 
Wolf isn't technically the original merchant, but yeah, I know what you mean. Okay, I should I need to save the game and stop. <laughs> All right. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I really appreciate you coming here to hang out with me. We will be back in four days. Uh, Wednesday, if you live in the United States. And I don't know how many much of the, the month of November we're playing this game, but we're, cl we're getting close to the end. So... I, I'm going to assume at least one more week before we're finally done with it. Maybe two streams finishes it. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Hope you guys have been having uh, a lot of fun with it. Um, if you happen to be new here and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, if you think I deserve a follow, I'd appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours. And this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where it will join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. Since this game ended up being longer than I thought, I'm probably not going to replay... I'm, I'm probably not going to stream a second playthrough... But I, I might I might hold on to the game though and like play uh, the wolf's path in like my, my own time, you know. I might I might give that a try. But yeah, I, I I like it even though I complain a bunch. It's a it's it's pretty fucking cool. Hope the wolf boss fight isn't too hard. That's gonna be annoying if I come back on Wednesday and I'm I'm bad at the game again and he just kills me like ten times. But whatever, we'll see. We will see. So hope you all been having a good time. It's all spooky season to me? Good. Yeah, honestly, like... I understand the point of Thanksgiving in the United States, but I don't know, it, it feels so... foregone in comparison to Halloween and Christmas. And Christmas is annoying, so Halloween is just like... It feels like it should be the holiday that takes over everything, you know? That's, like, that's just preferable. But okay, yeah. I should, uh, I should, uh, Lee, I should get out of here because... I've been doing lots of unreasonably long overtimes before, so uh, thank you all very much for being here. I appreciate your support in every capacity. I hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. And I will see you all again soon with more Darkwood. Ciao!